connections. This is real important. What are the connections like? Because whenever I have people that'll call me and they may be from another school and they'll say, what do I do? What about tapes? What about film for my child? All those kinds of things. I was like, y'all don't have a, a McFadden in y'all state school? Well, McFadden, everybody a good counselor knows McFadden is one of the coaches who knows everybody. He knows all the Division I schools. He knows the division. He knows everybody. So it's real. Urban Meyer, for instance, was his roommate in college. You know, there are creative ways. Um, I remember when we were coming, and they said to um, fill out an application. And I said, well, we want, we want help. And they said, well, we don't. First of all, they're going to tell you they don't do football scholarships. And they can't, they can't do football scholarships. Um, but they've got some alumni that may have some money that can hook somebody up if they, you know. <laughs> There's always a way. I'm serious, as in anything in life. But again, it's about who you talk to, what, you know, what is it that you bring to the table. If, you, if you're bringing a child that's coming and showing that they're interested, they're coming to the games, they're calling them, and you're inviting them to your kids' games, and they see that your child has not just potential in the football field, but also that they're good stewards that they're good kids, that they have good hearts. Because everybody, every school wants somebody that they can brand. And I, I mentioned this before, is the camps and combines, I cannot stress enough. Some of your kids who are not as in, interested in football, I promise you, after the day, they're gonna say to you, I wanna learn more about football. Has anybody had that experience yet? With, with one of their children saying, man, you know, I want to be like so-and-so. They had six NFL guys out here, six of them. These are all kids. These are our kids. These are kids who tried to do things the right way and, were, and, and, and worked really, really, really hard uh, in all areas of their lives. And, and they were blessed. They were given an opportunity to, you know, to try out for a team, and they made it. And they're making good money. What are they going to do with that money? What are they going to do with that talent? What are they going to do with that notoriety? What are they going to do with those resources that they now have? Well, hopefully they'll do exactly what Jelani's trying to do, which is to give back and pay it forward, right? Um, mentors. There are some of you in here, I'm sure. I got two of them. Some of y'all may not necessarily have any male figures in your, um, I got more than two of them. I mean, we've got Jelani's uncle, Ronnie, his brother, Shamari. So he's always had male, role, male that got in his grill. Y'all know what I'm talking about, getting in his grill? I'm talking about when he's not doing what he needs to do or, or, or shady. I'm talking about in his grill, right? And not just in his grill, but in his friend right here's grill. Am I right, Mike? We're wrong. In his friend's grill. And his friend's daddy, where's his friend's daddy? Where's Big Mike? Big Mike get in our, his grill too. So all around, just surrounding yourself with mentors, strong male role models who will, who will tell your children, because I can't do it. I'm a mother. All I want to do is hug. All I want to do is hug. I can't even watch games, y'all. And that's what most mothers tell me, is when the game is on, we don't know about, don't care about what happened in the play. All I want to know is that number 53 get up. <laughs> <laughs> Can you all relate to this? Yes. It is a very, very scary feeling for a woman, a mother. That's your baby. That's your child. Yes. So did he get up? Yes. Did he hobble? Yes. Mm -hmm. is, is his helmet off? Are people running out there? That's all I, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, if he won, that's nice, but. <laughs> <laughs> As you get, like in your sophomore, junior year, they start, if they, if, they, if they know you're in the circuit because you're in rivals or scouts or whatever, they start um, numbering you. Is that, I don't know if that's the right word. What? Ranking, that's the word. I told you I wasn't an expert at this, but I'm just giving it to you. They start ranking you from what, one, one to 8,000, I don't know, how many kids are ranked. Um, so he was like, you know, he was a good player or whatever. You know, we might have thought he was a little better than he was, you know, how you do with your kids. Um, but um, Maurice said, my son is, in, is special. He's got something. So what Maurice did is he developed a press packet. And he, and uh, I don't know if you have, we can probably maybe send it out later, but it was a press release that he said, this is Jelani Jenkins. He had this serious picture of him, you know, 
busting out of something. And he had all of the things that he'd done in high school, academic, all-American, all of these things. And then he got the numbers and addresses, and this was back in the day, you couldn't email, you know, it wasn't a quick email. He got all of this information and he shot it to all of these Division I coaches. They were like, who is this Jelani Jenkins? But guess what? What did it make them do, y'all? It made them press a button to look, right? So they start looking, and, and of course, we sent them the best highlight taste, right? So they're like, wow, this kid's whatever. So he got, and to this day, we still see information. His mother's a black belt. Where they get that on his press release? <laughs> because no coach has ever, nobody's ever asked me that. So big chunks of what he said, they still report. So we marketed him, we branded him from the beginning. We said, this is the way we want you to see our child. Because if we didn't tell them how they wanted to see our child, how we wanted them to see our child, what would have happened? They would have decided how our child is. Well, he stutters a little bit, or he, you know, he's kind of quiet or he's shy. No, no, that's not my message to you. My message to you is that my child is strong, he's humble, he's, he's a hard worker, etc. That's what I want you to put on the paper.